Hello Aries, Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, very likely Venus. Welcome to your January 2021, 2021 reading. A monthly, we're back to monthlies, yay. Super stoked about that. I have missed them, I hope you have as well. All right, so I'm gonna be doing my standard nine card spread that I usually do for monthlies where I read down, across, diagonally, or in a diamond. You never know. Wherever the energy flows. Welcome back to my VIP members. I certainly appreciate your love and support and your continued presence here on the channel. Welcome back to my subscribers. Very happy to have you here. If you are brand new to the channel, very happy to have you here as well. If you are a repeat viewer, would love for you to subscribe so we can stay connected. All right. Let's see what we've got. Just a general announcement. These are general readings. <laughs> As such, not everything will resonate with you. That's okay. It's okay. Take what does, leave what doesn't. All right. Just so you can see what my nine card spread looks like. So we have the nine of coins. That's Virgo. Four of wands is Aries. Three of coins is Capricorn. Three of wands is Aries. Seven of wands is Leo. A lot of fire energy here. We have Sagittarius with the 10 of wands. We have Pisces with the moon. We have Aquarius with the fool. We have Aquarius with the lot of, lot of repeat energy with the six of swords and Libra with the three of swords. If a sign that you are dealing with Aries did not show up. It does not mean that they're not present. Those are just the energies that are being lent to your January reading. All right. So your overall energy is the nine of coins. You know, this tells me Aries, you've got a month of a career focus. <laughs> independence, fiercely protecting your independence putting time and energy into accomplishment and into financial reward, so much so that you're carrying around a whole host of stress and burdens. Stresses and burdens. Right there at the center of your spread, you are getting to the point where the straw is gonna hit the camel's back and if you do not release some of that stress, Aries, if you do not release some of this stress, through physical movement, Aries needs sports and activity, physical activity to release stress. So Aries, you need to get out and get some exercise. Absolutely essential for you in January. I know it's gonna be cold in some places around the world. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you have the, the wonderful opportunity to utilize some summer energy but you need to exercise because you're carrying around a whole host of burdens. All right, my dears, let's look at this. So Aries, in the past, recent past or long ago past, could be either. We have the four of wands, the seven of wands and the fool all. There may have been a situation that you're holding on tight to it could have been a person because of the Four of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Um, but now I see that there, there's been this focus on a desire for something new, a desire for a fresh start, to take a leap of faith, to move forward in some way, to move forward towards something peaceful, something joyous, something more compatible with you than you feeling this defensive energy. I do see where you're at right now, Aries, is you're in a place where you're willing to take a look at people's strengths, not focus on people's flaws, find ways to work together, find ways to move forward without difficulty. If this is a work situation, you're being a strong leader, figuring out how people are able to work together, how to best utilize people's strengths to to achieve great things with regards to success and financial reward. Trying to figure out exactly who best fits in your team, who does not fit in your boat and needs to go, 
and who's going to help the um, work environment move along in a more cohesive way. I see, I see a strong energy of difficulty surrounding either family or a romantic relationship. Family or romantic relationship. Something that's caused some stress, something that's going to cause some more stress moving forward into the month. A feeling of loss, a feeling of grief, a feeling of difficulty. As a result of that stress, remember I said get rid of the stress to avoid this energy. We have three threes here. And Aries, this could be you focused on a third party situation. You may be watching somebody else from a distance moving on and feeling a sense of loss, wondering why you waited, why you put an effort in, why, why you hoped for this person. It could be a, a very difficult energy for you to, to overcome. Now, it's also possible if we're looking at a work situation that you have somebody that's not been very easy to work with that you've been hoping to see a change in their behavior and in their their um, actual work and you're not seeing an adjustment and that could cause a sense of stress and strain as well if you've been wanting to see some sort of financial reward and you're not seeing it come about that could also cause a sense of concern Ultimately, something or someone is preventing your forward movement. You're not seeing what you hope to see by this point in time in January. As you move through January, you're still not seeing what it is that you're longing for. Now, are you longing for finances or are you longing for freedom? Are you longing for connection? What is it to you, Aries, that you feel is not here, but you're desiring to see? Because I see you feeling like there's no way forward, feeling like you're never going to be able to see the future movement, right? Feeling like nothing is becoming apparent to you. You may even feel like somebody is holding back and not expressing to you how they truly feel, and that could cause a sense of stress and strain. You may be feeling like the workplace is not moving forward at the pace you had hoped and it may be causing the stress and strain that you have not achieved the success that you hope to achieve by the end of January. There's so many possibilities here. There's a strong waiting energy. And there seems to be a distance issue. Three of Wands, six of, wands six of Swords. Both having boats. So there seems to be a focus on distance. Physical distance. It could be you're separated from people that you care about with the pandemic. Not being able to connect. Not being able to express to them how you're feeling, not being able to see them, not being able to be with them. We may experience another downturn with the pandemic where people come under more sense of restriction and that could cause the sense of feeling a loss. Wow, Aries, it's like there's so much going on in your spread. Um, First of all, you have turn on your heart light. Uh, Spirit is saying in order to avoid this feeling of loss, right? This feeling of grief, this feeling of intense sadness to reflect on a time in which you experience love so that you can once again experience that love in your life, right? Experience that love within, experience that happiness and that joy. And then you also have love is all around you. So Spirit is saying, okay, you are somewhere, you're at a distance from someone. It could be family. But Spirit is saying, you know, don't, 
don't feel like there is a, a loss here that yes you're at a distance but love is everywhere love is in you love is around you love can be experienced in friendships love can be experienced you know amongst people that you have a great affinity for it doesn't have to be romantic love it doesn't have to be familial love it can just simply be unconditional friendship acknowledging that love exists in your in your life i feel aries that the the, the biggest hurdle for you in january is distance an actual physical distance from a person a place a family some sort of physical distance um i'm violating my rule we are going to do your extended right now aries <laughs> We are gonna we are gonna look at this distance, and we're not gonna look at anything else because that seems to be the focus, right? This the focus is finances, growth, career. Yes, great. It's also loneliness, sadness, solitude, independence, and a physical distance from something or someone or a group of people physical distance let's let's take a look at that now we're not going to do a full extended off of youtube let's look at that now we're going to tap into our sacred traveler let's see where that's going to go Distance, distance, distance. Aries, distance. Aries, distance, distance. What's going on with this distance, please, spirit? Uh, I'm getting the name Jarvis. I'm not sure who that's for. I got the name Jarvis earlier. Um, I'm also getting the name Will, like Will, like William, Bill, Will. Um, and the name Peter. Could be Wilhelmina, like, or Wilhelm, Wilhelm. Um, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a, uh, so this is what triggered the vision. So first sanctuary trigger or finding sanctuary trigger. Oh, that's why. Um, triggered a vision of a church, of an interior of a church. It looks very Gothic in nature. Um, it's first something, first something church, first something, um, I'm, I'm seeing a woman sitting there. It's a, a pleasantly plump woman. <laughs> she's uh, she's approximately, I'd say she's in her 60s, maybe late 60s. Um, she seems to be praying for someone. 
maybe praying for somebody's safety, praying for somebody's good health, praying for somebody's uh, return. Um, I'm getting Romania, maybe she's Romanian. Um, I'm still seeing the woman. I mean, I'm still seeing her sitting there. It's like she's praying for somebody. So I'm not sure whose vision that is or, or who it's for, but hopefully somebody will know. Um, oh, and then look at this. Here's first, first again. Um, the church is first something, first something. All right, overall, Aries, you have joy and delight. That's what you'd like to have, right? You'd like to have that, that joy and delight in your life. You'd like to feel that sense of happiness. And Spirit is saying, open up your heart to receive it, Aries. You have valiant courage and travel lightly. Simplify your life. So Spirit is recommending during this time, while you're feeling the sense of independence, you're feeling the sense of solitude, to focus on reducing clutter, reducing the load of your life, because you're under stress and strain. We saw that. It's time to reduce the stress. It's time for you to boldly charge forward in your career, because we do have a career focus with wise leader. You are a beacon to others. Your strength during this time of the pandemic, your strength during this time of being apart from either a group of people or a specific person or something of that nature, some sort of distance, your leadership during that is helping others. It's helping others to remain focused. It's helping others to see a pathway forward in their life. Your being in encouragement. People are looking up to you, Aries. They're looking up to how you're handling the current time, how you're handling the distance from a group of people, a person, etc., etc., how you're handling your career during the pandemic, right? You're being seen as a wise leader. We have cleansing waters and first light. Spirit's saying to take some time for rest and recharge because something is about to start in your life, Aries. Something new is about to start. You've got this card of opening to spiritual source, open to spirit, right? Opening to spiritual things, opening up to new concepts, navigating by the stars. Follow that which makes you happy. It's kind of like this particular card sort of reminds me of, you know, wish upon a star. And when you wish upon a star, you follow the star. It's like, it's like, um, oh, it's like the, the great conjunction, right? Being like the star of Bethlehem <laughs> and following and navigating by the stars. It kind of, it kind of speaks of that. So maybe something has changed recently for you that the great conjunction is bringing some sort of change into your life. Now you're being told, keep going. Don't give in to sadness. Don't give in to fear. Don't give in to a sense of worry and, and stress and strain. Instead, seek things that are gonna make you happy because happiness is up ahead. You may not see it right now, but happiness is up ahead. Happiness is up ahead, Aries. All right, love and light to you, my dears. Love and light to you, big hug from Kimmy, kiss, kiss. I'll see you soon. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.